Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and this is the uh, quick review and uh, look at the latest build of 19H1 Windows 10 build uh, 18282 was released yesterday Wednesday November 14th uh, early afternoon Eastern time and of course I wanted to test it kind of a little more before I you know give in to uh, some of my comments wanted to make sure everything is all right now as for the install, I don't know if it was one of those really long installs because I wasn't there, I let it do whatever it had to do and came back home and it was installed. So um, I would guess it probably took a very, very long time, like the usual updates, but uh, this uh, I, I wasn't there to see it. So we'll see you next time. So what's uh, new in this build? Well, first of all, there's the Windows light theme that they have now tweaked. So in this build, when you, uh, of course, had the light team, it already existed, but it, it didn't actually interact with everything. It only interacted with some aspects of the uh, operating system. So now when you actually go into the uh, personalization and colors, you can choose light. It takes a little bit of you know, time here to uh, activate itself, but now you can see that even at the bottom, even the taskbar at the bottom of your screen, is now white so this shows you the new light team even when you go into the start menu everything is light colored it's uh, nice it's an improvement it's actually quite beautiful um, it's it's beautiful to a point where I'm not sure anymore if I want to um, you know stay in the dark theme or, or, or go into the light theme but um, kind of nice you know I mean it's a little better it's more consistent across the uh, UI, and I think, uh, well, I don't think it's a bad idea uh, that uh, tweaking the light theme uh, actually make things better. So, uh, light theme now available. You can also choose light theme if you go into your um, personalization, and you, of course, choose your color. Um, if you if you choose your um, the wallpaper for example if you were in personalization and team uh, theme you uh, if we go here for example and go into personalization now of course you could choose your theme that I like to choose because I like to choose my own backgrounds uh, one of the things that w is new in here is that you can actually choose uh, the what's called um, Windows light which is the light experience also from here so basically you choose whatever you want to choose depending on what you want to get a light theme or a dark theme also um, I don't have it I still have the snip old snip experience but if you do have it you have a new snipping experience that has more options including delay snip options and um, they add a window snip mode things that uh, some people were requesting now I don't have that option uh, it's 50% of insiders got it 50% of insiders don't have it I'm at the 50% that don't have it so um, it, it's rolling out slowly they're trying to to work on this uh, for sure what else do they have um, a more modern printing experience you know printing um, for a long time the old same icon the old same thing and you know we're moving on in, in with time so now when you want to print a page so say I go to a website and um, check out whatever article let's say you choose this article um, and I want to print it well on the print we now have icons that will represent some of the options uh, next to each option. Uh, there's also a better explanation. So, for example, all pages says the whole document and so on. There's more explanation of what exactly it's going to do. There's a more modern look also in the way that it's showing the printout, the page printout. It looks more interesting. It's actually showing you really, really um, a lot what it will look like printed so this is um, you know improvements over the uh, printing options that uh, they're actually um, 
checking out and of course there's more settings uh, at the bottom of the uh, dialog so you can really tweak a little more and have a, a better idea of what you know printing will all be like uh, updates new features for updates so if you go into your settings and you go into your windows updates and update in security well here we have pause updates for up to seven days uh, of course, there's all other options that are going to give you the possibility to choose a date for pausing the update. Um, there's also a more intelligent update. It's going to actually tell you that an update is a feature update rather than just a cumulative update for security. So it's going to tell you, well, this is different from the regular updates that we we're giving you. Uh, so uh, a little more intelligence if you want in there. Uh, setting your active hours will let Windows know when to avoid rebooting your device. So uh, basically uh, they've kind of made active hours a little more intelligent in the way that it works. One of the things that was introduced in the last build but I uh, didn't talk about much is also this introduction of this new uh, search. As you see here it searches for searches for recent activity, things that you know, you've know you done have changed uh, like this, which is kind of interesting. It shows you a lot more details of what you opened and um, you know the, the time and everything. Uh, here it's funny because there's a bug in it. It tells me that it's December 31st, uh, 1600. <laughs> so I guess there's still some tweaking that need to be done for the wrong date. Um, if we had these types of computers in 1600. Wow, imagine the technology we'd have today. <laughs> so uh, there's little bugs like this, but it, it actually works. Um, a setting that also wasn't always correct. So for example, if you have a laptop or a tablet and you move on, you know, you're plugged in and sometimes you use your laptop on battery, you might have noticed that sometimes, depending on the setting you've chosen, you go on battery and technically the battery uh, should display the brightness at least the same brightness or less uh, than you had but in some cases it actually was brighter on battery so now that is something that they fixed so when you choose a brightness mode it will never be brighter if you go on battery than the bright mode that you actually chose uh, it will uh, always be at least the one you chose or it will remember which one you have for um, you know the the battery level and uh, the um, when you're plugged in often we you know will take the the screen brightness and actually lower the screen brightness uh, because it actually extends the uh, the battery so uh, things like that are gonna happen uh, to, to make sure that things are better uh, so you know uh, <clears throat> there's of course uh, lots of stuff for the feedback hub uh, that they want you to uh, use to actually tell them what you think. Um, narrator has improvements in verbosity, uh, verbosity improvements where they're improving the amount of information you hear while interacting with Windows, more consistent reading experience, uh, reads by sentence bry support, um, narrator character phonetic reading optimization, so you can have you know the uh, phonetics if you want the Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and so on. Uh, when you actually navigate uh, letters, so you it's clearer which letter it is uh, for sure. And um, the OneDrive flyout now actually supports uh, light and dark team. Uh, that was one of the problems. So here you see it's the uh, light team. And if I go and uh, change to the dark theme, what was happening is that the um, OneDrive flyout was still bright. It would not adapt to the uh, dark theme. So here, let's go back into the dark mode. Here we go, dark. You see here, it takes a little time for it to actually be system-wide, but it eventually shows up system-wide. So once this is chosen and works, here we go. Everything's in dark. Well, even the uh, OneDrive flyout you see here, OneDrive flyout is actually dark theme also. Little improvements here and there like that. So uh, kind of uh, interesting little stuff. 
Apart from that, I've been using it all day today. It works great. I've got no problems at all. Remember, there's a lot of um, bugs in these bills that could show up. So uh, they have a list of, of course, known issues and uh, things that they've tweaked and fixed. And finally, the first bug bash for 19H1 will happen early January, January 11th to January 20th. 2019 is when uh, bug bash number one is uh, going to happen for those that want to uh, play around and learn more and help the Windows team um, you know, gather more information and make Windows 10 better. So I don't know how it went for you. If you uh, have this installed, let us know what you like, what you don't like, and uh, how well it goes or not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.